Hi Tribe, it's Missy with MeWe. I hope you're having a great morning on this gorgeous Thursday, uh, March 28th, or afternoon I suppose, or evening. Uh, it usually takes a couple hours to upload these videos, so whatever day or time it is in your neck of the woods, I hope it's a great day. Um, we are moving out of Mercury retrograde, finally, <laughs> and all the planets are turning direct. Um, you may be feeling the last bits of purging and upheaval as we move through these energies into some new vibrant ones. Um, but regardless of when you come across this video, it is always my intention that my videos are timeless. Um, so regardless of what day it is, if this message resonates with you, it is Spirit's way of getting you the message. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Pretty sure you are new. It's a brand new channel, so welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you are a returning visitor, welcome back. I appreciate your views, likes, and subscribes so much. I really, I truly appreciate you and your energy here. Um, I always pray that you obtain from this channel at least one piece of resonance and healing every time you visit. So today I will be doing a divine energy update using the mirrored heart spread. Um, I'll be using the Game of Thrones tarot for the divine masculine and the Wheel of the Year tarot for the divine feminine. Um, now this does not have to be a twin flame specific reading. This could be for soulmates, uh, friendship, co-workers, and so forth. So whoever you are thinking about, your person, that's who this reading is about. Um, it is always my intention with my readings that they resonate with as many people as possible, but being a general reading for the collective, it is impossible for everything to resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. It is so important for you to use your own spiritual discernment here. If something doesn't feel like it fits for you, don't try to make it fit. It's not your puzzle piece, all right? Oh, also, if you're new to the channel, I will refer to the um, Divine Masculine as he and the Divine Feminine as she, but you do not have to be in a male or female. Um, to resonate with these energies, you can be a masculine in a female body and a female in a male body. Uh, again, however it resonates for you. Also, I'll be doing this reading a little bit differently. Um, I do this reading for my own relationship every morning, um, and Spirit has been guiding me to not only pull a card for the position, but to clarify and build on that card with the bottom of the deck. Um, it's been incredibly accurate and has provided a lot more insight to my own journey. So if Spirit directs me to do that today, um, I'm going to go ahead and give that a go. So let's go ahead and get it started. Um, <laughs> I packed myself some fruit today for lunch and my Tupperware leaked all over my cards in my purse. So I had to spend some time this morning separating them all, um, cleaning them all, making sure they're not sticky. Some of them are still a little flimsy. It's really, it's sad. Now things like this happen when um, try, to try to discourage, to get healing messages across. Um, you might notice these things popping up. It's also part of retrograde, things just being screwy and out of whack, miscommunication. Priestess just wanted to show itself. Um, intuition, spiritual enlightenment. Um, so they seem to be shuffling okay. Um, they smell delicious. <laughs> yeah, these ones are pretty okay. But it's my Game of Thrones one that got pretty damaged. So... I still suspect this will turn out just fine, um, but I had to spend a lot of time cleaning my cards, so this reading might be a little shorter than normal. Um, I've already prayed over the cards. We're going to start with the union energy, the heart of the union. We'll go into the masculine's um, headspace and the feminine's headspace, what they're thinking. We go into their 3D realities, what's happening in their physical realities. Go into their heart spaces, how they're feeling, and then we go into um, a message for each counterpart. So I will start with the um, masculine again. It's the heart of the union, so I will read these energies together. Okay, spirit. What do we have for the collective for the heart of the union? What do we have for the collective for the heart of the union? Oh my cards. Mm, kind of swords with the bottom of the deck being the Empress. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So Five of Swords, um, Swords are mental conflict. Um, fives are big changes. So there are some big changes in uh, the mental space for the union. Um, 
with the Empress showing it herself here, I think that has a lot to do with the feminine energies. So no longer, the swords are down. So no longer fighting um, the feminine energies and embracing them in the union. Thank you. With the bottom of the deck being the magician, let's see what two cards just came out here. Five of Wands, again, conflict. Um, there might be a choice between two lovers. Um, I see two males here, so that is quite possible. Um, and then the Ace of Swords, New Beginnings, um, cutting that mental conflict, uh, again, with the swords. So, in the heart of the Union, there have been some internal battles going on, but with the Magician showing itself here, I do believe that uh, the Union has been alchemizing and transmuting um, this mental conflict, uh, this mental choice uh, between two lovers. It could also be um, between, you know, whatever karmic, between uh, a job, um, conflict between, you know, finances are affecting the situation, if, I mean, wands are emotions, though, so again, I feel like this is an emotional uh, battle between two lovers. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on in the masculine's headspace for the collective. Thank you. What is he thinking? With the bottom of the deck being the Knight of Swords, I'll get into that. What is he thinking? Mm. Conflict. Conflict, conflict, conflict. So Ten of Swords, Ten being the completion, um, the most burdensome. Um, and then the Knight of Swords. So let me pull out the book for the Ten of Swords to get some more clarity. Okay, so in his mental space, finality, truth, and endings. A bond is broken. The ten is the card of endings. The evidence is unmistakable. A decision final. Although you may be shocked or confused with hindsight, you will see the situation has been building for some time. The upside is that all the surrounding tension has disappeared, making way for you to move on top. Okay, and then with the Knight of Swords. So the masculine... Um, knights are, you know, drama, stress, conflict, change... Um, as an individual, this knight is bold and determined. He has charisma but lacks finesse. Applied to a situation, he stands for sudden drama and conflict, and he often reveals relationship stress, family discord, or other personal challenges to be overcome. So, obviously, he's got some big challenges um, in his mental space that he is overcoming. He may have ended a relationship. He may have ended a job. Um, he may have ended some other uh, conflict, uh, mental conflict, that he was having within himself. Okay, what is going on in the feminine headspace? What is the feminine thinking right now? What's going on in the feminine headspace, Spirit? Thank you. Mm, hanged man in reverse with uh, the chariot. So a hanged man upright in reverse kind of, to me, always symbolizes the same, same thing. So... In reverse here, in her headspace, she is no longer hanging around. She's no longer waiting. She's no longer frozen in the mud. Um, there is, you know, upright. You can see there's new growth. There's a light shining down here. Um, and then with this being clarified uh, with the chariot, which is movement forward, new beginnings, um, ready to move forward, no longer hanging around. In her headspace, she is ready to go, ready to move forward and not... And, I'm ready for new growth. Yeah. Okay. So what have we got going on in the masculine's 3D reality? Thank you. While I wait, I got some water. Okay. What is going on in the masculine's 3D reality? What's going on in his physical world? Going on in his physical world. Thank you. Mm. Two of Spears. Clarified by the King of Spears. 
Interesting. Okay, so looking out um, decisions. Twos are always generally a decision or or a unity. Um, spirits being ones, being emotional. Um, it's quite possible in his 3D reality, um, he is looking for um, this this emotional union, um, you know, actually physically happening in the 3D, not just in his heart space, um, not just in his head space, but actually happening um, in his 3D reality. Yeah, partnership plans, choices, travel. Um, the two reveals a choice. If you're ready to leave the security of your castle, it is time to visualize the possibilities and make a plan. Partnerships are favored now, too, and you have support around you. The two spirits can also represent a portal into the spiritual realms and overall a leap into exciting new territory. With this being clarified by the um, king of spirits, which is, the, you know, the divine masculine, he is um, in his emotional best um he he's he's a king he's got honor freedom openness inspiration um this king is it's engaging and crest charismatic um he's passionate about what he does so this also you know might be a business startup uh, communications the arts travel industry um but applied to a situation he's got a light bulb moment uh and offers a way to a creative creative freedom so he's looking to, in his physical reality, he's looking to make this choice, come forward in partnership as his true emotional king self. What is going on, Spirit, in the feminine's physical reality? What's going on in the feminine's world and her outer reality? What's going on in her physical reality, Spirit? Going on the feminine's physical reality. I'm feeling like it's both cards, but I don't think there's only two cards here. I think there's three. So we have a lot going on here. Okay, Princess of Wands, mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. So in, in the feminine's physical reality, well, right here, you know, in this placement, she's looking out. She is looking out for her masculine. Um, she is, you know, in the wands, it's for the emotional fulfillment. Um, Four of Pentacles is basically this feeling of, like, greediness, like afraid to, to lose material wealth. Um... And then this King of Pentacles here. So she's looking away, though, looking away from this greed and this King of Pentacles. So it's quite possible that in her in her physical reality, um, the feminine is trying to release herself from codependent financial situations, whether it be an unfulfilling job. Uh, unfulfilling partnership um, that she feels dependent on for financial stability and then yeah yeah and then with this being the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck ace's new beginnings um, she's looking for a new beginning in um, in regards to financial so this could also for some of you this could also be the, a business startup um, maybe she's leaving behind the security of a business that she knows, uh, financial income that she knows very well, um, for a new beginning and a new new source of income. Interesting. Okay, so what is going on in the heart space? What is going on in the masculine's heart space? Breath? What is going on in the masculine's? Oh, goodness. Well, I'll take them. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what's going on. Oh, goodness. Okay, so in his heart space. Wow. Did this come out last week? 
think. Okay, so we've got the devil, we've got the wheel of fortune, we've got the page of cups, and we've got the three of cups. And then the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. So in his heart space, he is breaking chains. He is breaking um, illusions. He is breaking temptations um, because he is ready for a new beginning. Now, this isn't even necessarily also his doing. This is uh, being a major arcana. This is a, you know, divine intervention, um, spirit and God's intervening uh, for this new beginning. In his heart space, he wants to come forward with an offer. Um, cups is emotion. He wants to come forward with an emotional offer, but he might not be feeling quite ready. Uh, pages are um, a bit immature, so he might feel in his heart space that he's not ready to come forth with this offer, but he is wanting to come forth with an offer. He is wanting to celebrate. Um, threes are celebration, unity, um, community. Um, so this could even be like a public recognition. Um, cups, again, is emotional fulfillment. With the moon at the bottom of the deck, this means enlightenment. Again, a major arcana. So this wasn't necessarily his own, but with divine intervention, spirit has illuminated, um, brought forth using intuition and um, insight for him to break these chains and have this new beginning, to give him the courage and confidence to come forth with an emotional offer so he can celebrate this emotional fulfillment. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, what is going on in the feminine's heart space? How is she feeling? What is going on in the feminine's heart space? How is she feeling, Spirit? Mm. Bottom of the deck, three swords reversed, so no more heartbreak. What are these two cards here? Mm, major icon is the Hermit and the Hierophant. So... Both of these are spiritual in nature. Um, with the three in reverse. This is spiritual union. I'm gonna pull out a little book for that. Even my booklet got damaged with juice. But what came to me when that happened is I was thinking, like, am I, am I even going to go ahead and still do this reading? Should I just not? Um, and I got in my head, well, it's going to be juicy. So. <laughs> so that's what I will take. So the hermit um, is spiritual search, knowledge, caution, and prudence, wisdom, and introspection, a rich interior life. So she's looking within, in her heart space, um, She's, and with the higher finite, spiritual power, mercy, protection, kindness, loyalty, frankness, forgiveness, and clemency. Okay, I got it. I'm with the reverse, with the three of swords in reverse, with no more heartbreak. She's looking within um, to get rid of any residual heartbreak that she might have. Um, releasing resentments, um, forgiving her past for herself, forgiving her past for her partner, forgiving her past for... Uh, people around her, um, she's releasing a lot of old heartbreak to come forth in unity, spiritual unity, not just physical, but spiritual, with these both being very spiritual cards, spiritual unity. Thank you. Okay, what is the masculine's message to the feminine spirit? What is the masculine's message to the feminine Oh, okay. So we've got the Ten of Cups. Cups are emotional fulfillment. Ten is the, you know, Mac Daddy of emotional fulfillment, the completion. Um, and then we've got the Knight of Cups coming forth with an offer, emotional offer, um, no longer in a page. Now definitely in, um, you know, nights are movement, nights are actually coming forth. So I believe what his message to his feminine is, I'm coming forth with, with an emotional offer, um, with my cup filled, so we can have this together. So we can have complete emotional fulfillment. I'm coming forth with an offer. So get ready, feminines, to have this emotional fulfillment. 
All right, Spirit, what is the feminine's message to the masculine? What is the feminine's message to the masculine? What's the feminine's message to the masculine, Spirit? Does she have anything to say? <laughs> She might be keeping quiet these days, huh? There we go. Nine of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. It's a celebration. So the Nine of Pentacles. Um, just about near completion. I hear it's right for the picking. A spirit just right for the picking. She wants to celebrate. She's ready. She's ready is what she's saying to you. It's right for the picking. If you are wanting to come forth with this offer, I'm ready to accept it. I'm ready to accept it and I'm going to celebrate about it. Very interesting. I'm really feeling called to pull a romance angel oracle. Um, okay, I'm going to go get that real quick. Just a moment. Okay. So I went to go get my romance angel oracle, and I was also called to grab my Michael deck. So we're going to have uh, advice from Spirit for the union. Thank you, Spirit. Um, Um, advice for the union from spirit uh, with both the romance angel oracle card uh, clarified with the archangel michael oracle card i haven't looked at these yet i don't even know if they got got with the juice but i expect it to be juicy they look okay Deck got got. Uh, I'm gonna have to open up. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so just the, and that's probably why I was called to open my Michael deck because I didn't think any of my other decks got got. And I'm going to need to take these apart before they all crunch together. So I will be doing that after I finish this reading, but my Romance Angel Oracle cards are ready to go. So for an overall uh, for the union spirit, what do we have here? Overall for the union, what do we have here? What is your message? Romance angels for the union. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. With the bottom of the deck being calling in your soulmate. So just looking at the cards, reading them intuitively, um, enjoy this phase is what I'm getting. There's, there's reason for celebration. Um, you have been praying and affirming and visualizing to bring you guys together and it's time to celebrate it. It's time to celebrate your union. Okay, I'm just seeing if there's anything else coming through. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. Um, I hope that it resonated with you, and I pray that it brought forth love, healing, and insight. Um, thanks for uh, understanding about my cards. <laughs> And uh, if you like the vibes here, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, uh, please check out the link below in the description box.